here's the thing, man. The problem is you spend too much time trying to think that you're not getting anything done. The reality of it is, is you've been getting things done for the past several years in big ways. Been you know a lot done, putting together groups and 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 putting together events, traveling, networking, growing, doing a lot of things. The reality of it is, is you're getting it done. You're actually doing it. You're actually making it happen. The problem is, is you're actually moving so fast that you've outpaced most people and it feels like you're not getting enough done. And the reality of it is, is you're actually ahead of most people. So with that being said, the fact that you're ahead of most people means that you have to continue staying on the offense, pushing forward meaning that you have to keep putting your feet on, on the ground every day and just moving forward and seeing that forward progression that God has you making every day. This is the balance. This is the this is the reality of, of life, not only life, but of growth. This is the thing that I'm talking when I'm talking to people, I'm talking to people about a, about not really a, a large variety of things, really the same things over and over again, because we really got to drive home these certain points, social media usage. Build the foundation of your business. Do you have a business plan? Are you working your business plan? Just the fundamentals. You know, everybody wants to start off thinking, I got to have this money to do this. I got to have this money to do that. One of the questions that I'm asking people, if you had the money, what would you be doing with it right now? And I'm going to be honest with you. You would be surprised. The vast majority of people have no idea what they would even do with the money for their business right now if they had the money right now to do what they think they need to do for their business because the reality of it is is we have all these tools in our hand right now i'm talking to you on one of these tools I'm sure you're watching me on one of these tools the fact of the matter is is you have the tools in your hands you already have the money that you're investing in this item in, in your hand that you have to do the vast majority if not everything you need to do for your business the reality of it is is it's a paradigm shift our minds are so wired and so trained and so conditioned to think that, oh, I can't do anything if somebody doesn't give me permission. If somebody doesn't tell me or let me do something, I can't do anything. It's 2024. It's not 1984. It's not 1994. Shucks, it's not 2004. It's not even 2014. It is 2024. The reality of it is, is we have the ability today to get a lot of things done in ways that we never were able to get them done before. Sure, you can't just go out to a group of people and you know flash your smile and get things done the way that we used to get them done. Those days are gone. The reality of it is, is now we have to utilize the tools in our hand. We have the tools available to us. Start using them. And here's the reality. You need help, great. Reach out to help, seek wise counsel. But here's the reality understand that there are cultural nuances that are keeping people from reaching out to the actual help that's available for them case in point and i really don't like to get on these things too often but the reality of it is is being a black man i see things from a very interesting perspective and as black men we already know that our our, our opinions our viewpoints are really not looked towards as the authority in our culture and that's just a, that's a big issue that we have. But here's the reality. Black men are, you know, there's nothing that we don't know. There's nothing that we can't do. There's nothing that we can't help people with. But the reality of it is, is we're conditioned as a culture to devalue, to devalue the insights and the, and, the, and the information and the help and resource that black men provide. This is not, you know, I'm not making this video as a, as a, as a issue about race and these are just facts. One of the biggest facts that I know, there are a lot of black men that I know, a lot of black men that I know, very intelligent, very helpful, have a lot of insight. It's time that we start to utilize these resources that are being under underutilized because people, this is the time. It's 2024. It's time to get over the fact of, well, they don't know anything. If they knew anything, they'd be doing, you know, there are a lot of factors. I'm not going to go into a history of why things are the way they are. You know, use the internet, Google it, find out, learn your history. The reality of it is, is this is a cultural norm that we must break. And as a black man, I'm saying this, you know, for myself, you know, the reality of it is, is a lot of people 
refuse to come to me for help or they come to me for help in secret because they're 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 afraid of being seen getting information from this particular black man because he's not popular or what, or what have you because there's a stigma and it's not just me for a long time i thought it was just me and then come to find out it's not just me it's not just me it's not just him it's not just him it's 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 a lot of us the other night not this is not about politics at all but the other night something occurred that really shook me to my core and the more i think about it the more it just it just fascinates me and it's really touched me but there was a call that mobilized using this technology around the world of 20,000 plus black men in 20 less than 24 hours on a zoom call or whatever you know that 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 were able to interact and communicate in unison to generate a great massive movement within hours in this groundswell and it's not missed on me 20,000 black men in digital space you know how hard it is to get to be able to get black men together in a space because and it's not because of us as black men i'm gonna say that for sure the reality of it is is societally you know as black men we've been pushed to have to adjust if we're trying to you know stay alive to adjust to, to make sure that we're you know doing the right thing and so that's pushed us to a point where we're not able to congregate in groups anymore that we once were able to and i'm saying that specifically but the reality of it is so to see twenty thousand black men mobilized using technology globally in in just a matter of hours that right there really set on fire something inside of me that just really it i mean it excited me but it just made me understand even myself i'm like wow to see this many intelligent highly educated informed diligent you know um um, um active black men that can come together and knowing how hard it is and listening to them you know they're telling you they're telling you it was interesting you know it was um bakari sellers he, he had a very interesting out it was listening to him and watching him you know in real time in real time as he you know he he spoke about how he feels about you know like i said it's not about politics but but how he personally felt about where we're at right now and he indicated you know the stress and tension of being a black man and it, and that it go watch it you just go to youtube go watch it the reality of it is is what he expressed in that moment was what we all as black men go through have gone through and are going through right now the tension and the frustration for 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 centuries that's been that's been building up the reality of it is is it's real it's real now, don't expect for all of us to get on here and, you know, and, 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 and the, and, and, and emote as much. But the reality of it is the feelings there. We can, we should be able to. The reality of it is, though, is this is a real thing. This is a real time. And we have a real opportunity. We have a real opportunity. And like I said, this video is not just for black men, but I just wanted to point out because I am a black man. So I have to be, you know, very cognizant to the reality of the time that we're in and the fact of what I have to do myself to go through on a day-to-day -day basis in order to get any forward momentum and so forth. I deal with it every day. I deal with it every day. My sons, my grandsons, they got to come up. You know, my nephews, you know, they got to come up. There's been a lot of fear. The thing that upsets me the most is that my young men and my family have experienced and they've communicated. Okay. These young men have communicated to me the level of fear that they've had and have just to be, stay alive, just to function, you know, and be good men, just to, just to participate in our, in our culture. There's a palpable fear that the past few years has just really revealed and they've been very truthful and honest with me and it's very hard for me to say okay i understand it you know generationally generationally you know it's very hard for me to 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 because i come from a, a generation 
that processes emotions differently. And the reality of it is, is to see them hurt like this, which is basically just a demonstration of the hurt that we all have had and all have and, you know, all dealing with. But they're able to, you know, to communicate it, to hear it communicated is, is, is very powerful. It's very powerful. And I'm, I'm hearing them. I hear them. I hear them. Um, you know, and unfortunately, as, as, as black men in my generation, it's hard to have the answer, you know, for that fear. And that 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 is a real concern for us. But the answer is forward movement. The answer is forward progress. And the answer is to to start to, you know, alleviate, you know, not just alleviate, but eliminate the things that are causing this real and palpable fear. Case in point. Case in point, in my generation, you know, we've dealt with a lot of homicide. We've dealt with a lot of murder. We've dealt with being attacked and almost being murdered. We've dealt with being on both sides of the gun. We've dealt with a lot of tragedy that we've never been allowed to process. And that trauma and that that real that real palpable you know trauma is and has and continues to affect us today and even with our children and our grandchildren you know in our how we interact with them and how we're able to be there for them emotionally and how they're unable to understand even financially why you know why if, if this person's doing that why can't you do you know the reality of it is is you know we operate from a place that is very, very not normal and not usual. It's usual and normal for us, but it's not usual and normal for everybody else. And societally, most people that's not their norm have no idea. They have no language. They don't know, you know, why, you know, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Until George Floyd happened, a lot of people didn't understand what why, why are you going why are you always talking about it why are you always feeling you know why are you being a victim until they saw it and heard it most people didn't understand a lot of people didn't understand what it is that we've been talking about since trayvon martin you know this this is not new this is not new the reality of it is is this is an environment that we've had to that we've had to exist in now, this video is totally gone a totally different direction than I intended for it to go, but it's just necessary. But we live in an environment that has to start to hold itself accountable. The, 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 the culture has to start holding itself accountable for itself in total, not just in part, not just for black men or for just for black women or just for, you know, poor whites or just, you know, but for everybody as a culture, as a society, as a, as a, as a country has to start holding ourselves accountable to the fact of, okay, these are real systemic issues. These are real cultural issues that a lot of people have have to deal with. That, that you know, and as a black man, I can't shy away from the fact that, because I'm still to this day, you know, fighting forward to try to, you know, push past this, you know, the, 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 the station of life, excuse me, a bug kind of flew in my face, the station of life, that 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 I was born into but praise be to God you know I give God the glory because he's brought me so far and I see so much that I actually have a, an understanding of of his direction and plan for myself for my life but I that that includes me communicating this message communicating the messages that I communicate you know you know working you know fervently even though you know I keep falling down you know my physical body struggles you know my, you know, financially, you know, it's a struggle. This fly is really messing with me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but the reality of it is, is, you know, these are things that we need to deal with, that we need to, you know, start holding ourselves accountable. And as black men, you know, it's time for us to be able to, you know, group together. And it's time for as, as, as a culture, as a society, don't be afraid of black men coming together in a group. You know, that's 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 just a real thing. You know, people are definitely afraid of black men coming together as a group. Here's the reality. Here's the reality. You know, the rest of the world is unable to really comprehend and understand the struggle 
and the the not just frustration but the trauma of the of the of the the black american man the the the, the africa diaspora around the world in places of the black man that has to be you know that has to had that's had to endure certain traumas the rest of the world is unable to understand the what for and why of how to of how to accommodate or how to allow us to heal we have to be allowed to speak to one another we have to be allowed to come together as a group to help one another heal the reality of it is is most unfortunately folks most of y'all can't help brothers heal only brothers can help brothers heal i'm just going to be honest with you myself i need my brothers i need i need brothers around me that can these dog and flies are bothering me that 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 can understand ooh, that's a big fly that can understand me in shorthand understand where i come from that i can understand where they come from what they've had to deal with and endure shorthand because the trauma is so deep it's just like a soldier returning from battle needs to talk to another soldier that returned from battle Others can't help them the way that that soldier can help them. As black men, we need black men. We need black men. We need black men to help black men return from this battle. All right. This video went somewhere. I totally didn't expect for it to go. But God knew what he needed to do. And this is the direction that it went. Praise be to God. And but this is the time. Talk to you later. God bless.